What's up everyone? Let's get some links added to your WordPress page. You know there where you're like, oh, hey, you should contact us. Then you want that contact us section to run through to your contact us page because it only makes sense. So I'm going to show you how to do that really easily. So this here is the website. And if we head over to the blog section and into this first blog post here, we're going to scroll down and you can see right here, there is essentially a call to action for all intents and purposes. If you have questions about how to use how to set up your VR system, then make sure to contact us. Now from here, that doesn't do anything. That would be great if when you clicked on that particular section of text, it would take you through to a page that we have, which is contact us. And it gives you all the information, how you can send a message, where it's located, all that kind of thing. So we want to just add a link so that we can go from the call to action, contact us, to the relevant page so people can actually do that. So the first thing we want, as always, is be on your WordPress admin dashboard. Get logged in. And then because we're going to be putting this into a post, that's what we're going to look for. We're going to go here to posts and across to all posts. From here, the blog post we want to modify is this one here at the top. So I'm just going to click edit. And then let's go and find that particular section that we're looking for. It's right here, just there. Remember, make sure to contact us. So to achieve what we want to, we need to go back to the page that we want to link and we need the URL. So this is the URL for our contact us page, but it can be for obviously whatever page you want to link. So I'm just going to control and C to copy that. Come over to edit post. And again, just going to find that section there, contact us. And I'm just going to highlight those last two words contact us. Now there's a couple of ways of adding this link. The absolute easiest way is if I now press control V, I paste that link directly on top of the text. It really is that simple. If I come across to the top and press update, when that's done, we can just go straight back across to that blog post. Let's go and find that now, just here. And if we scroll down, you will immediately be able to see that contact us link is available. We click on it and it takes us straight to the contact us page. That's exactly what we want. And it's the easiest way to do this. However, there's a couple of other ways and I will show you how to do those. If maybe that's not working for you or it's not something you want to do. So firstly, we're going to remove that link and update the page again. So obviously we're back to square one, undo all of our hard work. And then again, we are going to highlight that section that we want to add the link to. Now, depending on the editor and the theme that you're using, that will depend on what this looks like. Now, I've got a link option just up here at the top of the screen that I can click on, and that's going to give me a link down here, and I can just paste in that contact us page and press enter. You see, it does exactly the same thing. Now, what we can also do is we can make that even easier. So if we do the same process, we just highlight the contact us here. There's no link in here at the moment. And then we press on the link option and it says you obviously like type URL. We don't have to do that. We can just search for the page. So if we type in contact there, you see, we've got the contact us page there. So you don't have to go backwards and forwards and copy the URL. You can just select an existing page, which is contact us. And it works exactly the same way. Easy. Again, back up to update over to the contact us page. Oh, not the contact us page. Go back to the blog post and scroll down. And once again, there we have it contact us straight through to the page. It's really that easy. This final way that I'm going to show you how to do this is going to save you a lot of time. Now, you might think that that was super easy, super quick, and there's no real time wasted there. But imagine how many blog posts you end up with and how many different pages you have and all the different linking opportunities that are on your site. And it's important that you do provide these links. You provide these internal links because it helps benefit your SEO. It helps Google know what's going on, what's related to what, and it's going to benefit you in the long run. So to make sure we're not missing any linking opportunities, and if you want to know more about things like backlinks, then definitely click the video that I'm going to link at the end of this one. But we are going to use a program or a plugin called All-in-One 
SEO. Now this has tons and tons of features and options, but today we're only interested in its linking capabilities. What we're interested in is All-in-One SEO's Link Assistant. So we're gonna go ahead and get All-in-One SEO. Now the Link Assistant is available on the Pro Plan. So two things here. Firstly, there's a 14 day money back guarantee on All-in-One SEO. So if you don't think this suits you, you can give it a go and think of it like a free trial for 14 days. And also if you look down here at the enormous discount that my screen is showing, that's because if you click down in the top pin comment, or in the description, you're going to be able to find a link to All-in-One SEO through WP Beginner where you're going to be able to get it at the best possible price. So if you are interested, click one of those two links down there. Once we've got All-in-One SEO, we need to install it as a plugin. So we're going to go across to plugins here. Now, if you want to see how to install a free plugin, I'll also link a video to that at the end of this one. But for now, this is a paid plugin. So we need to go to add new plugin here and we need to go to upload plugin. Once we're there, you can either drag and drop the file in here, or we can click on choose file, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to select here, this plugin. This is what I'm looking for, the zipped all-in-one SEO pro file. Now, if this is zipped, leave it zipped. You don't want to unzip this. Exactly like this is what you want. So we're going to click open and install now. That's going to bring you across to this page, which is the installation page. And from here, we just want to activate this plugin. Now you can see that this all-in-one SEO pro plugin is available. Now it might ask you to insert your license key before that becomes available. If it does, you just click insert the license key that is on your previous page from your purchase and you'll be good to go. Okay, now we've got all-in-one SEO ready to go. We're gonna come down to this left-hand side into our sidebar and we're gonna go into all-in-one SEO and we're gonna look for the link assistant. That's what we're looking for here. And you can see here, it's giving you an immediate option to enable the link assistant on your site. And it's exactly what I was explaining. You're going to get relevant suggestions for adding internal links to all of your content, as well as finding any orphan posts that have no internal links. This is really powerful. It's great for SEO. And it's going to make your life a whole heap easier. So let's click on activate link assistant. And the next obvious thing to do, we want to produce that scan. This is exactly what all in one SEO is going to do. It's going to search everything. It's going to crawl through your posts and it's going to give you linking opportunities, internal and external. So let's scan. So in the links report on the top here, you can see we've got linking opportunities. This is what we want. We're going to click on that. And you can see it's gone through all of the posts and it's got multiple suggestions as to what you can do and where you can link to. Imagine having to go through and find all these yourself. This is going to come up with the links for you. And on top of that, it's going to optimize them for SEO at the same time. Let's just check out the top option here and the 19 suggestions it's come up with. So I'm just going to click here and click on next. Go across to my 19 link suggestions and we've got five inbound and 14 outbound internal link suggestions. Now we can check out all of those, see what they are. Now for me, the most important thing is to be able to add this link without having to go into the post. So you come down here and I'm going to add this link. Are you sure you want to add the suggestion? Yes, I do. So it's just going to add each link as I click on it. I just add the link. Now I've just done all those individually, but here we go. Select, add link and apply. Does everything all at once. So let's just head back over to our blogs page right here. And this is the blog article where we added all of those links. So let's see what it looks like. And here we go. There we go. You can see multiple links. And of course, they all work. They all take through to the relevant article. So you can see here, the title of this article corresponds to the title of the link that's been put in. So with all-in-one SEO, you're going to get a ton of opportunities to add the links really easily, less stress, less time taken up by you. It's also going to provide you with a whole host of other powerful tools. And on top of that, all of your links are going to be maximized for the best possible result when it comes to SEO. If you are wondering how to add links in other areas, well, it's pretty much exactly the same as I showed you earlier. Let's go over to here to appearance down to widgets. So in our widgets, you can see on my main sidebar, everything is already 
got a link. So let's scroll down to the WooCommerce sidebar. We've got some placeholder text and you can see again here, it says contact us for more information. So exactly as I spoke about, let's highlight the contact us. We can either hit control and V once we've pasted that URL that we want, or we click on the link option and we paste in the URL just there and press enter. There we go, we have another link in the contact us section there. And this applies to basically every area on your website. So you don't need to worry about learning 50 different ways to add links, because if you do it this way, it's gonna work for every area, including your headers, your footers, all that kind of stuff as well. If you wanna check out that video on why backlinks are so important, click this video right here and any other videos I've mentioned throughout this one are gonna be just here.